Hello there, welcome back. Uh, again, it's been a little bit. Of course, after all our Christmas traveling, I inevitably got sick. So I didn't record for a little while, mostly because my voice was just uh, not fit for uh, talking for that long. Uh, you can probably hear it's still a little bit off, but I think good enough to finally record a video. Um, so we had another big update, so update three. Uh, the big thing that I can see that is um, kind of the focus is the uh, items that were triggered based on one of your abilities. You can now pick two that um, you can manually activate. So that's kind of interesting. You still have the ones that activate on the abilities, but you can pick two to uh, manually activate so kind of the best of both worlds i still like uh, the fact that they activate on abilities um and then the second thing we're going to unlock one of the alternate uh recon classes so i got recommended to do the uh, psionic we have enough points so we're gonna do it here so he's got a dodge roll so it looks like it's based on a cloud psi cloud so when you roll within the cloud, you refresh shields by 500 and a speed boost. Okay. So you throw a grenade to get the cloud. Uh, increases dodge chance while you're in it. Uh, no ability cooldowns. And greatly reduces sign fuse shot cooldown. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then we have a field. Slows enemies with sin side. Deals when you damage or when you fire within. Uh, you deal damage, reduces fire rate, triggers each shot, okay? And then a weak point scan, which we've already used before. So, when ready. So we also have this uh, Scion View shot, which looks like it uh, every second it goes by. You get two key cards, start with 500 credits. Interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to get into it. We'll kind of um, work on the same same basis we've been going before. We'll try and clear the first section in a video and move on. Um, we definitely had a very poor ending on our last run. I think we would have been able to do far, far better. Um, but I think in the end, it, it was my fault. I walked off the edge. And uh, walking off the edge is extremely unforgiving. You just, uh, that's the end of your game. So I, I would almost like to say, um, or see, uh, just a big penalty instead. Uh, maybe lose, you know, three quarters of your health, um, but you get one more try. I, I think that would probably be uh, better, because it is just a, an extremely punishing way to end a game, for sure. Okay, we should probably start looking into what our abilities so let's throw so the grenade is around you it's not actually being shot ahead okay so that's good to know what about this guy put this that is being shot ahead a little bit so it does a little damage interesting okay you got a weapon right away that's what i like to see let's uh, see if we can grab this and have a look so nemesis prototype interesting first first gun to have I don't know uh, how much of a utility it's going to give us I mean, we can take everybody out in one shot with it but just don't have big chamber so I think we're still going to end up using these don't forget we do have our dodge roll that we can use it's a plating Happy, our, ha happy with our starting weapon here. I should have looked a little bit more into starting weapons. And we could have uh, maybe selected something different. Okay. Let's have a look here. So we throw this down. And then if we dodge roll within, we get more shields returned. It's a lot of... Um, a lot of things to manage all together. Making sure you have a cloud down, do what you need to do in the cloud. Now, there was something else that, um, yeah, reduces our, our cooldown for our shot. Always a critical strike when you do it. Uh, area slow effect. No ability cooldowns. Okay. We're learning. 
It's, it's kind of, you know, you toss one of these in on the guys, and then you throw this down on where you are. And between the two, we do a dodge roll, we charged up our shields. I mean, that wasn't a very good example of how to do it, but that's kind of the, the pattern I think that they're looking for with that. That'll slow them down, give them a little bit of damage. This will boost everything that you're doing. Very interesting. And then you can take a couple of hits, do your dodge roll, and then immediately go back to having all your shields, which is also great. This is where we started. Right, what am I missing here? There's a, there's a path I'm missing. Up here. Only one bullet, might as well reload. Let's uh, get our nemesis ready to go. We can engage off taking one of these guys out. Everybody just showed up. So we should be able to throw one of those. That's doing the damage. I definitely seen the that side shot is doing a critical right away. A lot of people up there. Got some upgrade points. So there was a lot of fixes in the update as well. Um, I'm hoping that some of the things I'm looking for... I had a lot of issues with upgrade points where you were able to spend them on, on fully upgraded weapons. It wasn't clear whether they were actually being used or not or it was just wasted. Um, so hopefully we can see that. I also noticed there was an update um, in regards to how you gain... Uh, the upgrade points. When you're at a higher level of them, it used to reduce them down to 25. I think that's only been reduced to 50 now, which is a bit different. Throw one of those in there. That's, that's pretty useful, actually. That little... Um, of course, I don't remember what it's called. I'll check here in a second. This uh, the side field. I like that quite a bit. It does a decent amount of damage, especially early game. It was really good. I don't know if we dodged out of that. I think we did. I mean, so far, so good. We're doing well. A little uh, dodging of lasers here. Oh, I see this. So apparently this will also give me... Yes, upgrade. Okay. So I've been ignoring those, thinking they were just uh, a little bit of health for me. But they actually do give you quite a benefit. I missed my reload. So we'll have to make sure to make those. We should uh, see if we can get our shield back. Got a jammed gun with him in a bad spot. It was very poorly handled. It was a situation where we shouldn't have taken 75% of our health gone. But we did. Can I look over here? I know the exit's right there. Okay, we are just getting ourselves into really poor situations. Throw one of these. Toss one of these. And just kind of get ourselves some shields. We're down to almost no help. Thinking too much about what I'm talking about. And uh, not enough about the game itself. We also have this. And we haven't been using it. We really need to be paying attention to our abilities more. Because I do think, as opposed to the first one, abilities just are far stronger and far more important. So, grab this health. And an item. So it's a good thing we came down over here. Probably explore the whole thing. Flare guy. Fires a flare into the sky. Grants greatly increased accuracy. Um, I, was, I need to check what it's activated on. Oh, another item. Let's grab that. Grants a chance for no ammo cost. Okay, so that's just a passive. That's nice. I also need to look at how to activate the new feature of creating an active um, item. So we'll have a look here in a second, once we finish this guy off. Uh, so that's our guns. So if we can have a look... Oh, see, now I don't remember how we uh, check all of our items. Um, where the heck do we check our items again? I completely forgot. Upgrades. Up to two compatible items can enable power slots to activate manually. So it looks like these are all automatic. 
We can turn it off and on. Okay, interesting. So that's pretty easy. Uh, this guy... Um, with your hotkey class, class utility usage or with your hotkey. So it'll still activate on your class utility, but you can also activate it with a hotkey. Um, oh, and you can see the hotkeys there, three and four. Perfect. We're learning. Throw one of those in. And then we're going to go here. We're going to put down our gas. We're going to dodge. Kind of a good way to finish that encounter. So I think at this point, now we're going to head out. We've got what we needed. Excellent. So, so far, I am wildly impressed with the environments. I think that's the biggest um, upgrade. I think they're they're beautiful. They're interesting. Uh, it, it makes playing it a lot easier when the environments look like this. And, I, and they're doing a, a good job at... Um, I think one of the improvements in this patch too was to make them a little less complicated and and huge because i noticed yeah my runs were very long because just of the sheer um complexity and distance that needs to be traveled in each one of these so here we got uh so we can get an upgrade either on our plating uh ammo regeneration which we don't have any increases weapon damage by 10 percent effects currently held weapon I think we're just going to do that. Of course, this is this is when we uh, immediately find a new weapon. We probably should have waited until we had it. That's okay. We need health, actually. Put our little smoke in here. We gotta take this guy out. Gotta get behind him. Get lots of money. I heal? I thought I did damage to him. I wasn't paying attention. I think that's it for here. We gotta cross the uh, laser here. It's fine. Let's do a quick dodge roll. Put some people over here. I think we can just do that. Blows him. He's getting hurt by the field. We miss every shot. Take him out. They also changed the uh, audio on the dogs, which is something I complained about, I mean, multiple times on, <laughs> on my previous videos, because <laughs> it sounded ridiculous. So that, for me, is a huge quality of life increase. Doesn't drive me nuts anymore. I'm going to try and Keep an eye on the. Uh, oh, the FPS doesn't show up on the on the recording, but see if they've improved that by much. And my gun is jamming a lot. These shield guys are just always annoying. Oh, that guy's coming in fast. Did he end up summoning anybody? I don't know if he did. I don't know if they disappear once they summon. I've never paid enough attention to see if they did. It's just kind of a one-time deal. You can throw one of these in there. Get that guy out. Pretty good. We should take the opportunity when we have him slowed like that to dodge roll behind him and take him out. Just standing there and melting his shield is, isn't uh, useful for anybody. Of course, I ran in there with no ammo. That's actually a really good way to deal with them, because he can't turn around fast enough to actually do any damage to me. So, if we throw one of these in there... That was in a weird location, but what are you going to do? Leveled up our gun. There we go. We've got to cross this. There's so many people here. We have to uh, kind of put ourselves in a position where we're not going to die. Okay, are we... We're not safe here, actually. We're gonna... We're gonna lose here if we're not careful. But we've got a few things that we can do. Try and get ourselves into a position where we don't die by rolling into all these people. I really would like another gun. 
think that would be their, our best bet to survive a little bit more. We can throw one of these in there. We can grab one of these. Thought I would do a lot more damage there. Okay, we got to get behind these guys. That's why. Take one out. Let's get rid of this guy. And then this guy is the only one left. So we survived. We probably shouldn't have. That was a that was a pretty crappy fight. It is interesting the way that they. Um, split up the rooms with these these little traps as well because it kind of forces you to go in here and deal with all of those people instead of always being you know far away trying to deal with them without actually having to be in the thick of it so it allows you to try some different play styles really change how you play the game which is good there we go got some health perfect and increased maximum health by 500. That is very good. Oh, we got a weapon shop. Okay, so I don't really know the weapons that well. So this is a semi-auto auto laser rifle. Dual-wield shotgun revolver. I mean, that sounds fun, but it's just not the gun that we're going to... ...in the two well with, I think. Semi-automatic soft ballistic sniper rifle. We don't need that. I, we're going to go with the laser rifle. I don't know if it's the right choice. There's the exit. We're going to do a little bit of fighting here. Semi-automatic. That's right. I think it has potential. I think we could do something with it. Uh, some upgrade points. In fact, we're probably going to toss some upgrades on it right away. We've been saving them. we got 300. So we might as well use them. So we'll check down here as well. There's another weapon. throw one of these in there. We can deal with anybody we have. We'll have to check what the weapon is here. We switched out a weapon I didn't even realize. So it's a, it's some sort of a rocket launcher. Trying to decide if I want that over the nemesis. Get somebody else down over here as well. A lot of people down there. Throw one of these in there. That'll deal with them. They're shooting through this side or through the little gap in between? There's some skill. That did not do as much damage as I wanted it to. Okay, he's down. Let's just get this guy done. Okay, we have an item down here, which is nice. We're going to grab that, and then we're going to decide what the heck we want to do with... Uh, activates and taking damage. Returns one bullet straight to the magazine. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's anything. Throw one of these down there. One of these. <laughs> Can't get past when I thought I could. Luckily, he's nice and slow. Okay. Keep on looking. We're going to go check out... Uh, I, th I think we want the Nemesis as opposed to... The RPG. Oh, I do see this other random chest here. So you got to... You gotta go through here and avoid this laser. I think we can do it. But it is quite far. Ah, we've done it. We got field rations. Oh, we actually didn't activate this. We might as well while we're here. Um, let's upgrade this. Increases Mac charges by one, but increases the cooldown. Okay. Critical effect power. I think we do overcharge. Having three of those, that's pretty much ideal. And we should be able to make it through here now, nice and easy. And then we're going to hit the exit. Not bad. Yeah, we already used that. Got uh, 450. We got two key cards, 300. We got to upgrade our laser. That's the first thing we got to do now. Hopefully, uh, we get a little peace and quiet so we can do that before we actually engage anybody here. I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's do that. Um, there we go. By attachment. Reduces movement speed. Reduces deviation. Increases damage. Okay. Um, weak point damage. Increases critical damage. And reduces heat. 
on active reloading. Okay. Movement speed. I think I think we can do that. Let's toss one of these out there. There's a lot of people over there. We've already taken just so much damage. We can just roll. We're damned. We gotta get ourselves into a position where we can deal with these people. Throw one of these out there. That'll slow down anybody coming in. We've got a guy behind us. They do see an item, which is nice. Grab this ammo. Now we should be able to get behind them. Upgrade kit. We should use our upgrade kit again, actually. I'm gonna grab this help. Another pretty poor encounter, but uh, we managed to get our, our, our way out of it. Okay, we also have to realize we have this as well. Um, we should use them. Player in the sky, increased accuracy. We've got to use that kind of stuff. Uh, right away, we are going to upgrade this gun. 225. It's expensive. Okay, never mind. Well, the range on that is quite low. Let's throw one of these out here. We gotta be careful with the lasers and those shield guys. Because they actually will bounce that back on us. Again, pretty cool level. All the all the different little things all around. Very interesting. Grab some ammo. Reload. Oh. Throw one of those in there and just kinda get out of the mess. Get some of our shields back. Over oh, jammed. I feel like we've been just getting so many jams this run. Throw one of those in there. Let's throw the flare gun up. Oof. We actually have more of these. Might as well throw. We have the extra charge of that, so use it while we can. We're going to get hosed here. We're going to get some of our shield back. Finish this guy off at least. If we can hit him at least once. Okay. At least we're in some sort of a position... Where we can pause for a second, we can upgrade our weapon. Let's see, Lucky Dangle, increases critical chance, um, ammo infusion, increases effect power by 40, increases duration by 10. Okay, we don't need that. Grants ammo regeneration, triggers when shields are down. Okay, we can do that. We seem to uh, pretty constantly have our shields down. So far, not uh, super happy with our performance. Kind of just hanging on. I'm also not really happy with our guns. But what are you going to do? Let's get behind this guy. It just takes one one good upgrade, one good gun to really change things around. I'm also getting used to the the use case of this of this guy. Just got to get behind him. What do we have here? Okay, there's a lot of people here. Let's try and take all of them out first. Hold it. That's what's uh, causing that to happen. Let's take that out so it doesn't bother us anymore. That hit us real good. Take him out. Throw one. Oh, that actually hit that. They're going to walk into it anyway, so that's not too bad. Throw one of these. We reflected it. At least he's almost down. Reload. Again, the laser gun is really not the best uh, gun to be dealing with those guys, but... Increased movement speed, increased damage against rooted. Decreases shield generation. We don't want that. Grants 10% chance for twin shots. Twin shots have no additional ammo cost. Okay. That just seems fine. Increase fire rate, 
Increases burst fire rate. Increases recoil. I think we're just going to do that. Seems like there's no downside to it, so I'm not really 100% sure. Alright. What else do we got? We got a bunch of people over there. We're just going to throw one of those in there. We'll throw one of these. He's reflecting my lasers. It's not ideal. Just going to back up for one second. Throw one of these in there. Now he's all slow. We should be able to just get in there and finish him off. Some upgrade points. Reload. New weapon. Here, here's hoping for something good. I know I'm neglecting that nemesis, but I'm just not that great at it. And we're, we're probably going to switch it out. For this little SMG. I'm kind of excited for the SMG. A little bit of health. I like how the the sound just changes too. You, you walk into the building, it gets nice and quieter. You can hear your footsteps. It's got quite the spread on it. If we can get... Um, Oh, this is one of the ones that it gets better as you shoot. I, I like these for boss battles. That's a that's a tough reload. Okay, not too bad. Let's throw one of these in there. Might as well slow him down. A little bit of damage on him. Get around him. Finish him off. An item. Perfect. I mean, we got enough of these. Oh, I went for the item first. So we're already at max items. Get around him, finish him off. Okay, so there's no way for us to tell what this item is, which is really annoying. Um, I'm hoping that they will change that in future updates. At least so we can see what the item is on the ground. We also can't drop anything. We have to, um, we have to get rid of it. Um actually can't read what this does because it's all the way down there can i move it no i can't uh flare gun honestly i think we're going to recycle the flare gun and then we're going to pick up whatever this item is hitless continuing marks i think that's better i think that's better so medical training increase healing done by 30 percent healing gate instantly heals we don't need that when full health increased weak point damage increases recoil uh, donate blood, cost 1,500 health, gained a lost and found item. I think we're going to go with that. An item is nice, but we're already stocked up on items, so I, I don't know if it's definitely necessary. There's somebody back here, too. we got to get behind it. Well, there's health there, at least. <laughs> we got to upgrade this guy as quickly as we can, too. But let's get here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the heck is going on here? Not sure why the when you open. I'm pretty sure I did not press that button. And then it froze in the menu. So I'm not 100% sure what that was. Okay. Luckily we didn't die in that uh, little exchange. But here we go. Keep it on. This indoor environment is super nice. Here, we're gonna grab that help. We missed. Hit the wall every time there. We can get around him, finish him off, take this out, and then we can get the help. And there's our exit, too. So that'll be our boss. Uh, we're gonna check out what this is real quick. Grab our ammo. Finish this guy off. Which really should have just switched weapons there instead of reloading. But well, there's one more guy. Take him out. Health. We didn't really need that. What are you going to do? Okay, so we can um, upgrade one of our items here. We'll blow half health. Okay, we don't, we're don't. not using that. Um, okay, hit list. Non-lethal shot. Requires close range. We're not even using that. Specialization you, you, uh, ability. Which one is that? Core... With the specialization. Okay. It's a high chance for no ammo cost. I really don't know what I want to upgrade here. Swift Revenge. I think that is probably our best. Uh, cool down. 
I think just affect power is probably the best. I don't know what that actually means for that one. Um, We're not going to spend too much time there. I think we're going to head to the boss. That takes a little bit more thinking. It's, it's, it's a much more uh, generic increase for them. Well, this is the Experiment 57 again. But we have FPS in the top corner there. I didn't even notice that. So we did not fare well the first time we uh, fought him because of that laser attack. That is really difficult to dodge. So if we can get some of our health back. Yeah. So we got to find out where his front is. So now I see where to dodge that attack. It's not easy to get there. At this point, we're mostly just kind of weathering the storm, and we lost. Okay, well, I think we understand the way that that's supposed to work, and it was a good uh, look at the new class. Um, and a couple of the, the improvements made in the last uh, update. So, thanks for watching. Not our best run, but we'll try again soon, and we'll see you in the next one.